Welcome back to Zoho Sales IQ. This video will focus on skills and actions on the Zia Skills platform. You need to configure skills and actions on the Zia Skills platform in order to deploy your bot on the website. First, about skills. What is a skill? A skill is a collection of actions that you define to your bot to perform to visitors. In order to create a skill, click Create New Skill. Provide a name, a description, and an image for the skill. Click Save. And done. Next, about actions. An action is a single ability or a task that makes multiple conversations when an instruction is given during a conversation. If you want to create an action, in the Zia Skills console, click Zoho Sales IQ. The created skills will appear. Click View Details below the skill to which you want to add actions to. Click Customize and then Add Action. The Create New Action page appears. Provide a name for the action. Based on the intention, actions are classified as directly answering a question constructing answers by fetching data from sales IQ and performing an operation directly answer a question feed answers inside Zia skills if you have direct answers to queries here I'm creating an action for deals of the day in the first section choose give a direct answer next provide the question you assume to get from the visitors click next then feed the reply also Feed all the question combinations you might receive from visitors. Add or delete questions using the plus and minus icons. Then comes answering by fetching data. Using this option can help your Zobot fetch data from Sales IQ and respond to the visitor dynamically. Configure the questions for the Zobot and also add params based on your requirements. Params are the input data received from visitors to complete actions. You can add new params by clicking on plus. Give a param name that should only begin with the lowercase alphabet and must consist only of alphabets and numbers. They must also be unique for each action. Choose the param type from the drop down and enter the message. Following this, you can proceed to editing the param loader function and the context handler function. First, the param loader function. It is used to add new params to the action dynamically at runtime besides the statically defined params. You can define this function when you do not know the params of an action beforehand, typically when the params differ based on the users. Then, we move on to editing the context handler function. The context handler function is used to control the conversational flow of an action. You can change the order in which the params are prompted to the users at runtime. You can also skip some params, do custom validations of the param values, and ask for a confirmation before action execution at runtime. Then, the execution function. This is an endpoint to an action execution. It defines the fulfillment of an action. This does the actual execution of the action and gives a final success or failure message to the user as a result of the completion of an action. Then comes performing an operation. For this, you need to choose perform an operation or you can choose answer a question and then construct an answer by fetching data. Then, enter a sample of how the operation can be invoked and proceed to adding parameters. When the script is ready to be moved to production, click Update under the Zoho Sales IQ tab. Update button will be visible only if there are any updates available in any of the custom actions written. We hope that helped. For more help, rush to our resources section. Happy Zoboting!